this girl right here she's very blunt she says it how it is are you trying to sweet talk me so you can stay in the villa like are you trying to sell me dreams like let me know because i'm not about to get played in this damn villa okay with rachel she just gives you all types of honesty she gives you all types of realness she gives you all types of I'm not about to get played for real for real and it's so obvious that dan just wants to stay in the villa you know when someone's just talking so much you just know like bro you lying like why are you lying you know toby's out here giving all types of excuses on why you know he's holding himself back lies 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 like we don't want to hear it like toby why are you lying why are you lying toby Facts. hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are having a blessed day i hope you guys are having a blessed week i hope you guys are staying safe because we ain't safe out here in these streets before we start with this video please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that notification button so you can be notified every time i post a video and y'all do not want to miss my videos your girl's back again with another commentary another review another love island review commentary episode six let's just get into it guys this episode right here was more about rachel and this messy slimy challenge that all the islanders took part in and all the boys basically grafting for rachel and um, when i'm talking about all the boys it's basically the bottom two brad and chugs and it was interesting rachel is not the one to be playing games with okay she's very straightforward she doesn't beat around the bush and she doesn't hold back like she literally says it how it is yeah, the way rachel was literally questioning these boys rachel is not the one to be played with this girl right here she's very blunt she says it how it is she doesn't hold back and when rachel was talking to the boys she was not holding back like she was pretty blunt she was saying it how it is some people might find it a bit offensive and rude but to me i feel like Honesty is the best policy and with Rachel, she just gives you all types of honesty. She gives you all types of realness. She gives you all types of I'm not about to get played for real for real. Rachel was like, listen, like, let's cut to the chase. Let's stop beating around the bush. Let's get right into it. Do you like me or you don't like me? Are you trying to sweet talk me so you can stay in the villa? Like, are you trying to sell me dreams? Like, let me know because I'm not about to get played in this damn villa, okay? I hate it when people just be going around in circles. Like, she just wants to know, like, are you feeling me or are you not feeling me? And it's so obvious that Dan just wants to stay in the villa. Like, he was trying so damn hard. It was so obvious you can literally tell i get it it's early days nobody knows what's gonna happen but the way he was talking like you know when someone's just talking so much you just know like bro you lying like why are you lying the way she was questioning him like he was sweating he was like god damn she got me all sweating like i'm trying to answer all these questions i don't know about you guys but you can literally tell that dan was literally sweet talking rachel whereas the conversation with chugs you can tell that the conversation is flowing you can tell it's genuine you can tell it's real now we don't know for sure if chugs is really into rachel i mean we know his type is blonde petite and these two are 100 percent fighting for their stay at the villa dan needs to go home she needs to pick chugs and then dan needs to go home because at this point we don't want to see dan no more i'm sorry but i ain't feeling dan i don't know what it is with Dan. i don't know what it is that these girls find so attractive about dan maybe it's the blue eyes i wouldn't be surprised if she chose one of them and they literally switch up on her like a few weeks later because nothing is certain like nothing is predictable at this point everything is unpredictable when it comes to this show okay i feel like rachel has they're gonna take over for real for real because they they ain't here they, they just they're bringing it i'm telling you rachel and kaz are bringing it so then we see that toby's having a conversation with the boys and he feels like you know he's holding himself back from showing affection to kaz and you know he feels like he shouldn't he feels like he don't want to give um kaz all the affection and all the hugs and the kisses kaz feels some type of way basically kaz feels like toby is not pulling his weight he's not making enough effort and you know she's feeling some type of way like boy what are you doing like look at this sweetness right in front of you and you're not making enough effort and i'm sure kaz feels some type of way because obviously she's seeing everybody else they're in a solid couple everyone is getting all types of affection and there's kaz 
like getting all types of friend zone, all these church hugs. You know, Toby's out here giving all types of excuses on why, you know, he's holding himself back. Lies, lies, lies. Like, we don't want to hear it. Like, Toby, why are you lying? Why are you lying, Toby? Listen, Love Island needs to bring more boys for Kaz and the rest of the girls because these boys right here ain't it. And Kaz deserves so much better. We don't need all this baby boy nonsense, okay? Kaz needs a whole man, okay? Because Toby ain't it. He ain't it. Then we have Jake and Liberty. This ain't gonna end too good because, you know, Jake is being honest with everybody else but Liberty. Like, he needs to sit down with Liberty and have a conversation with her and be honest with her. But we all know he ain't gonna do that because he's trying to save his stay. And we all know that Liberty is all invested in Jake right now and she's she's all loved up and she's, I don't know, she's in La La Land. And Liberty needs to wake up. Kaz needs to wake up. These two need to wake up because these boys right here ain't it. But I understand in a way where Jake is coming from because at the end of the day, it's early days. Like, if another girl comes in, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm not gonna try and get to know her. But at the same time, you're not being honest to Liberty and that's the problem, do you understand? So yeah, but anyways, y'all, let me know what you guys think about this episode. How are you guys feeling about Rachel? Who do you think Rachel is going to pick? Because love island nah love island what are you doing please like how are you gonna end the episode just like that and we, we don't even know who rachel picked whether it was chugs whether it was dan like now we have to wait until tomorrow to find out who she picked and that's very annoying it's very jarring like for real but let me know what you guys think how you guys feeling about rachel so far i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you like share and subscribe and i shall see you on my next video bye